blue, white, sail, or spear. The Bermuda Billfish Blast is all about chasing those jumping, pointy-nosed fish that we all love. The first leg in the three-part series, the Bermuda Triple Crown. This tournament, the Blast, is the one that gets it all going. This year's series has already proven to be a shootout and it's only just begun. off hot here in Bermuda and the bites only forecasted to intensify. Speaking of bites, I never get tired of hearing that line ripping off the spool, the sudden breath the engines take as she slips into reverse, and then the water explodes with Mother Nature's raw power. always been known as a marlin hotspot, so it's a natural for hosting this series. We gotta pace ourselves though, this is only the beginning, and what a way to get dialed in and break in those new wiring gloves. We all know this is the land of the cool kids and the cool toys, and it seems like they both just keep getting cooler and cooler. I think what a lot of people miss when they see these sport fishers is the union of boat building history via the handmade details mixed now with our new technologies. The combination has only made these beautiful machines more powerful and that much more capable. Got a soft touch, but I go on. The Bruce in a replay on the scoreboard. I'ma go and tell your coach, bring the sub in. Red a call double team if you wanna win. Every summer, over 50 boats travel to this wonderful British island in the middle of the Atlantic to take part in the spectacular fishing that goes on here. It's not all bling and glamour though. Out there, the hard work finds you quick. Seventy-three billfish releases in this tournament, the 2011 Bermuda Triple Crown has started off hot, thanks to several great fishing days in the blast.
Brushes, hoses, and rum were the order of business after lines out this week. Bard Bay Park is a pretty little spot hidden below the main drag, sitting just at the water's edge on the marina. For those not fishing, it's the perfect front row seat to welcome the boats back in each day. There were plenty of photos and videos to check in, and Bacardi was on hand to keep everybody entertained who dropped by to check out the scores. This tournament is generally a billfish only release tournament, except the first day coincides with a worldwide blue marlin tournament, the World Cup. And although no marlin were taken this week in Bermuda, that can only mean one thing. The big girl we all dream about is swimming right outside those rocks. And the next few weeks are gonna bring more excitement both offshore and at the race station. The awards banquet at the Blast is always a little bit special because it's not just about the awards. It's also kind of a reunion amongst teams and a chance to catch up and talk about the fishing season. There are fantastic door prizes, and for our winners, the checks and trophies are a well-earned bounty. Day one, level one and two billfish release jackpot winner was the team Fish On, Chaos Bay Roots team, Brett Slade, come on up here, buddy, I've got something for you. Our junior angler winner for the Billfish Blast this year is Jake Robinson. Come on up, top lady angler was Alex Adolf. She scored 400 points in the day two, level one, and level two release jackpot for $36,416. Our third place team, beautiful 58 Spencer C Toy, and second place team, Team Seduce. Somebody uh, who has has learned his craft and is at the top of his game that has been evident over the last several years and, and what they've done. Four blues on the last day of fishing. Come on, let's hear some applause for that player. Team Wild Up. Come on up here, guys. Congratulations to our winners of the 2011 Bermuda Billfish Blast. But there's a long way to go in the Triple Crown, so don't start napping yet. And keep those leadering gloves handy, because this is Bermuda, and you're definitely gonna need them.